So it's uh, it's October the fifteenth, two thousand and thirteen. The day after. So this is this is in a sense day one. Well, I can't even say it's day one because and uh, day one, the moment he got off the plane, we started working. So let me let me back up a little bit and tell you what I'm talking about. The Jamaica Wrestling Federation um, in March of this year, you know, engaged uh, Coach Wayne Smythe out of Canada in a conversation about coming to Jamaica, moving to Jamaica for 48 months and, um, and, and becoming our full-time co full head coach, you know, and uh, just immerse himself in just building uh, the Jamaica Wrestling Federation, building our wrestling program here. Now, in... Um, <clears throat> In the last few months, we've been talking back and forth as he's been in Canada, basically making arrangements so that he can be here full time. And so yesterday, the 14th of October, 2013, um, I picked him up at the airport. I picked him up at the airport and uh, we drove in and it was kind of kind of like a somber drive, but at the same time, a joyful drive because you could see that he was happy that he was finally here and that he did it and then it was almost like he had a moment where he just um just went into his own space and uh, you know just yeah it was actually just very peaceful in in, in in a strange kind of way driving in from the airport but we talked a lot about wrestling um but the one thing that that i guess he didn't realize was that we're going to start working right away because the um the moment he got off the plane you know, it was just conversations about what it is that, you know, um, our mission really is down here, what it is that we are here to do. And why did he come down here? Why did he pack up his life in Canada, you know, to come down here for the next four years? You know, what what exactly, you know, is it that he's up to? And um, so we had some great conversations and then we stopped, we went to this place, Rock Tower, you know, downtown Kingston. And Rock Tower is this, uh, what? well, for us, as wrestlers, it was great. Once we walked in and there's a room within the complex that we went into, there's a room that is just like, it's perfect. It's got Jamaica wrestling written all over it, if you know what I mean. And so I saw it last week and I really wanted him to see it. So I didn't waste any time. As soon as he got off the plane, we made arrangements, um, you know, with the, 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 the woman that runs the place, um, Melinda, to go down and take a look at it. And, and um, she was so gracious in showing us around and just having conversations with us in terms of what the possibilities and uh, next steps are. So that was a great meeting. And, you know, you know, it is, it's just, I look forward to forwarding that because just the whole idea of having a wrestling club in downtown Kingston, you know, um, having all of these, you know, inner city youths in that area, having access to a wrestling club, it's just, um, look, it's, it, it's just great for me. It's wonderful. So we're, we're right now in a remote location, you know, just getting ready for the Commonwealth Wrestling Championships, which will be held in South Africa December 5th to 7th. Now, um, a lot of what it is I will be doing, you know, for the next little while is just to see how it is that I can get me uh, the best training partners and, and the best training situations so that I can properly prepare for tournaments as it is that we, you know, as we look forward to, um, to building the Jamaica wrestling program, you know, um, my, my job at this point is to keep us on the international stage, just to maintain our presence on the international stage. So there's a lot of um, tournaments that will be coming around, you know, that um, I'll be attending. And at the same time, just seeing how best we can train some of these guys. My, my, rest, my training partner, you know, I believe is actually ready for some international competition. So we'll take him along to some of these tournaments and uh, have him, you know, get the experience that he needs so that he can step his game up as well but um coach Wayne Smythe is here you know and um he wanted me to post this video that I showed him this morning I told him I posted it already but he wanted me to specifically post it on the Jamaica Wrestling Federation link so that you guys can get a sense of you know that's kind of what, what our mission really is down here you know what we're really up to you know wrestling is a sport but it's also a culture you know, and so I believe that if we're going to bring that culture here to Jamaica, you know, we are going to have to figure out how it is that we teach it the way it's almost like the way we were taught. You know, I mean, we, have, we all have our own unique ways of putting stuff together. But I was taught with love. You know, I was just taught with discipline and, and a strong sense of appreciation for, you know, what it is that you were involved with and just the fact that you were involved with it and you had the opportunity to do this thing. So wrestling for me, I talk about it a lot and I'm very passionate about it because wrestling for me is, is a whole lot of things, man. 
you know, it's 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 a very important. It marks a very very important point in my life um, when I started wrestling and and where it is that I've gone with wrestling. So now, as we we prepare for the Commonwealth Wrestling Championships, uh, Coach Wayne Smythe and myself for the next six weeks, we're gonna put in um, a serious strategic training program, you know, uh, and then we're gonna go down to South Africa. That's with the intentions of doing our best, you know, letting them know that Jamaica is on the wrestling scene, you know, start, you know, just making the necessary links that we need to make, so that when we need to um, to come to have competitions or to have, you know, duels and all that kind of stuff and interactions and training sessions and all that kind of stuff that we have different people that we can we can link with. But in the meantime, um, I'm going to post this this video that I'm posting right now and then there's another one that's going to follow. And um, the other video for me was, it, it still feels like a teaching tool. Um, I do these videos and then I get a chance to watch them as well and then I get a chance to learn from them too you know so this particular video that I'm that I'm posting along with this one it's um yeah it just kinda it gives an insight you know as to where it is that I am in terms of my thoughts and and all that kind of stuff and um And yeah, I, I just really want to share it with you. And as I get myself ready for the Commonwealth Wrestling Championships, um, I think this time around, it's um, it's really about spreading, you know, um, the goodness of wrestling and just taking the sport, you know, that much further, you know, um, so people can stop seeing it as just. A sport where guys wrestle in these um, singlets, tights, or whatever it is, and our stop scenes as a brutal kind of, you know, sport, and just come and take a closer look and see what it really is, and you'll see how much more purposeful and how gentler, or how much more gentle, you know, these kids that would have come in contact with it, how much, you know, they'll 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 change, you know, and um, I look forward to that. I really do look forward to that. So yeah, so this is day one. Wayne Smythe is in Jamaica and we are working. We started the work and look, Jamaica wrestling, we're on the move.